All right, hey guys, welcome back to the Fish Tank. I'm JJ Duke, and I'm here with Sean Burrows with another Bluefish player profile. So, Sean, welcome to Bridgeport. Um, you know, it's a pleasure to have you this year. What are you uh, looking forward to playing here? Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to coming out here and uh, you know, getting getting together with a group of guys out here and, and playing hardball, coming out here and winning some games and uh, playing hard and, and uh, you know, hopefully bring a championship to, to Bridgeport, Connecticut. Well, we'd absolutely love <laughs> that. Um, what what were some of the main reasons why you felt that Bridgeport was the best fit for you for this season? Uh, just the opportunity that I had, you know, just talking to, to people with the, with the uh, team just said I can come out and, you know, get you know, get good reps in at third, at first, you know, get some at-bats and, you know, just kind of working on some things. And, you know, I, I, I've seen they've been around in this league. It's my first time through this league, so I've seen they've been around for a while and they know how to, uh, you know, put a top-notch product on the field. Yeah, definitely. So you've been around the bigs for a while, played for a bunch of different teams. What were some of your best experiences in the major leagues? Um, you know, just just getting up there and, and uh, you know, seeing how it all, how it all works. You know, being around takes a little bit of you know a little time for you to you know get your feet wet, and then once you become comfortable and, and you get yourself around veteran guys and you know how they how they handle themselves and what they do to get ready day in and day out, it's uh, you know fun business, fun business to you know play in front of a lot of lots of people, you know lots of people in the stands, and uh, you know continue on working on getting better. Yeah, now some of the experience that you accrued over the years playing in the major leagues. Now, this is a team that has a lot of younger professionals and veterans as well. What do you think uh, some of what you've learned you could pass on to them? Well, yeah, just like what you said, I mean, I've, I've learned from a lot of guys, you know, I've played in the you know, last 12, 13 years with guys, you know, that are going to be in the Hall of Fame, you know, guys that have played 10, 12 years in the big leagues and, you know, what they passed on to me, I think, is, is you could fortunate enough to play in this game into your 30s, you know, mid-30s, you you know, it's kind of your responsibility to keep working hard and keep playing hard, but at the same time, uh, you know, helping them out, helping people out if they have any questions, if, you know, any, anything you can help them out with, and, uh, you know, I'm always there for them. Awesome. And you've had a couple of other cool, pretty, uh, cool experiences in baseball. We're going to take it back now, uh, <laughs> 20 years or so, yeah, Little League sure. World Series, one two titles you know what was that like playing in Williamsport that's right uh, it was it was a good time you know it was uh, I, people ask about it all the time and you know, 11 12 years old it's, it seems like a whole lifetime ago you know now I mean but uh, you know I, we, we had a good time we were coming from Long Beach you know we weren't uh, you know, really a baseball powerhouse we were kind of beach kids that you know played uh, you know baseball on the on the side we were at the beach surf, surfing skateboarding you know doing God knows what, and then at night we played ball games, and you know we were good, and we were good both years, and we kept kicking butt, and uh, it was fun. And now, fast forward that about seven or eight years later, another pretty awesome experience down under in Sydney, Australia. Team USA wins the gold medal, and you're a part of that. You know, unfortunately, baseball is not any longer in the program um, in the Olympics, but you had that experience. What was that like? And also playing under a great coach like Tommy Lasorda. That was, uh, you know, people ask me this day, what, you know, is your, you know, kind of your apex, your pinnacle moment in baseball, and I, you know, being, uh, you know, part of that team, being able to get a gold medal, being able to go to the Olympics in Sydney was probably, probably my best, uh, you know, my best. Uh, achievement in baseball. You know, I had such a great time out there. It was a once-in-a-lifetime, ex you know, experience. The only team ever to win a gold medal in uh, in that sport, and it was it was awesome. Right, and you know, after playing the majors, there is a time away from baseball for you. But going forward, since then, um, your return to the game, what has that kind of meant to you, both on the playing field as well as for yourself to get back on? Uh, it's you know it's been a it's been a challenge. It's been a fun it's been a fun ride. I mean, there's lots of ups and downs. Uh, you know, definitely more ups I think than downs. But uh, you know, seen the seen the highest highs and the lowest lows. And but at the same time, I've you know kind of kept my everything in perspective. You know, I've really cherished it. When I you know really grateful for you know opportunities I've had the last few years. And and uh, you know I enjoy it a lot more. You know, I go out there, come in the field every day. Looking to you know have fun, looking to improve, looking to work hard, respect the game, and uh, you know as I'm getting older, learn things from coaches and you know even other players that you know hopefully when I'm done playing I can uh, you know teach it. 
All right, well, Sean, thanks for taking the time to sit with us. Good luck this season. Thank you. All right, you've been watching another Bridgeport Bluefish player profile. I'm JJ Duke. He's Sean Burrows. We'll see you next time.